Hey everyone, welcome to the very first video of the Crochet Basics series. In this first video, I'm going to take you right to the basics and show you everything from how you hold the yarn in your hand, how to chain, and I'm also going to show you the very first stitch everyone should learn, which is the single crochet. I'm also going to show you all the variations of the single crochet, including the stitch itself, how to do it in the back loop only, front loop only, the increase, and the decrease. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to begin, you're going to take your yarn, and for a beginner, I highly recommend a medium weight acrylic yarn. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. And the very first thing you need to learn is how to make a slip knot. So to do that, you're going to take the yarn in your hand, wrap it around your pointer finger, pinch it so there's a loop, take the long attached end, and bring it through the loop and then pull through. So now you have a knot that is adjustable and it can cinch to your hook. So now that we got your hook on, the very next thing you have to know is how to hold the yarn with your non-dominant hand. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have your hand facing palm up. You're going to take this long attached end of the yarn and you're going to wrap it around your pinky. Then you're going to wrap your hand, so now it's facing palm side down, and you're going to wrap your pointer finger around. So now you have your pinky and your pointer finger, which have been looped around with the yarn. So pinky, pointer. So now with your hook in your dominant hand, you're going to now pinch the yarn with your middle finger and thumb, and you're going to hold underneath the hook here so that way when you're moving the yarn slides through your hand giving you the correct tension okay so the next thing you have to learn is how to make your starting chain so now that i got my hand done and my hook in my dominant hand i'm going to pinch the slip knot between my thumb and middle finger wrap the yarn around the hook like this and you're going to hook it through the loop and pull through that's your first chain. I want to make a swatch of 15 stitches by six rows. So in order to do that, I need to chain 16. So I'm going to yarn over again, pull through, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. That's what it should look like. As you can see, it just is like a bunch of V's, and that's how you know you did it right. So because I wanna do 15 stitches per row, you might be wondering why I chained 16. That's because you can't insert your hook where your yarn is pulling through. So I'm going to now show you your most basic and most used stitch, which is the single crochet. So to do that, you're going to do the second chain from your hook. So not this one, but this one right here. You're going to insert your hook through that chain so that you now have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first loop. So you have two loops on your hook now. And then you're gonna yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that's your first single crochet. So let's do that again. We're going to insert our hook into the very next chain here. We're gonna yarn over and pull through the loop, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Let's go into the next chain and try that again. We're going to yarn over and pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Let's go into the next chain here. Yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. I'm gonna repeat this process through each chain here and I will show you what you do from there. So when done right, this is what a completed first row of a single crochet looks like. And as you can see, the V's are now again on top and that'll play an important role for the next row. 
So to begin our next row, you wouldn't just turn around and start working because that would make your stitches decrease over time. So to start each and every row, you're going to start by chaining one. So you're going to yarn over and pull through and you successfully chained one. So now we can turn our work and see our first stitch here. So we are going to now insert our hook through the entire stitch so that the V is on our hook. So for a total of three loops on our hook. We're then going to yarn over and pull through the entire stitch so that we have two loops on our hook. And then we're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops. So going into the next stitch, we're going to insert our hook here so that the V is on our hook. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and then yarn over, pull through two. Insert our hook into the next stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through that. Then yarn over and pull through the two loops. Insert our hook, pull through the stitch, yarn over and pull through two. And that's how the single crochet works. You would just continue this process of chaining one at the beginning of each row and doing this exact same stitch over and over again. But now I'm going to show you some variations that you might find in patterns. One being the back loop only. And I'm going to show you how to single crochet in the back loop only. So in these V's that I was bringing up to you earlier, there is a front loop right here that faces you when you're crocheting. And a back loop here that faces away from you when you're crocheting. So to make a back loop only single crochet, you would insert your hook through the back loop here, and then you would yarn over and pull through the loop, and then yarn over, pull through two loops. Doing that again, we would insert our hook through the back loop here, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through two. We're gonna do this a few more times so that you can see what this does. So as you can see, compared to our regular stitches here, these back loop only stitches have more texture. And that's because the front loop only here is protruding out and it creates this ribbed look. So now I'm going to show you how to do a front loop only single crochet. And it's basically the exact same thing, except you'd go through the front loop instead. So to do that, you would just loop like this. So now you have the front loop on your hook and you would just make a single crochet like we have been. We'll do a few more so you can see comparatively how it stacks up against the other stitches. Okay, so from the front, it looks like the regular stitches here, but if you turn it around, it creates the same ripped look that the back loop only created on the other side. And that's obviously because the back loop only is now protruding out. But now I'm going to show you how to do an increase single crochet, where you make one stitch into two. You would start by inserting your hook through the next stitch here, and you would make a single crochet like normal. The only difference being that when you make an increase, you insert your hook through the exact same stitch and make another single crochet. So now we have two stitches in one. But what about a decrease? To do a single crochet decrease, you would insert your hook into the next stitch. You would yarn over and pull through the stitch, leaving two loops on your hook. But now you would take your hook, go into the next stitch. So now we have two loops and another stitch for four loops on our hook. We would yarn over and pull through that stitch, leaving three loops on our hook. And then we would pull through all three loops. We now just turn two stitches into one. With all of that out of the way, I'm going to take apart the second row and I'm going to make a total of six rows of a regular single crochet so that you can see exactly what a complete swatch looks like. Okay, so I've now completed my six rows of a single crochet and if you've done it right, this is what it should look like. This is your most common basic crochet stitch and um, now you know how to do it. So if I were to finish off my project, I'm gonna show you what I'd do from here. I have my hook still connected and to finish off, I would yarn over and pull through creating a chain and then I would cut a tail of whatever length I would need and cut it. Then I would take my hook 
and pull the yarn all the way through. This creates a knot securing your project so it won't come apart. Now the final bit of knowledge you would need um, for your basics, absolute basics, would be to weave in these ugly ends. So to do that you would need a yarn needle and you would take one of your ends and weave it through. In this case my yarn's a little short so I'm going to weave through first. But the biggest tip I can give you is when weaving in it really doesn't matter which direction you go in. But what matters is not going under the whole entire loop but you split the yarn so that it makes it more secure when you fasten off. If you really want to make it secure, you would go different directions, but I've never really done that. But now I'm going to put my yarn through my needle and then pull through. And that's what it looks like. And then I would take my scissors and cut close. So now you can't even tell. So I'll just do the same thing on this piece. And for this one, I'll go sideways instead of down. Then I'm gonna feed my yarn through. Again, take my scissors and cut close. And now you can't even tell. This concludes my very first video of my crochet basic series. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a half double crochet. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel and my videos, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!